Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. What a cheap jump scare. Okay, so... Now... How's my health? All's good, head is pounding, my hands are shaking. I feel like I just got punched. Oh wait, no I can't even go in there. I think I can go in here though. That's a laboratory, I need to go to the wine cellar. A handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling and pushed down on the brim of his hat. He braced himself as the cavern suddenly shifted and settled. Sanity up. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us enough wine to last us a lifetime. Coming. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> My vision returned to normal, please. Oh, God. Got knocked out by a barrel. Hello? Mom? Dad? Oh. Am I hearing my teeth? Oh. You bastard, move. Knock myself out again. Come on, Daniel. Up the body stream. Okay, I think that's enough. Something's pounding its way in. I don't like it. Hey, bud. This is telling me that you not drink the wine. Okay, I uh, barely have any.
Look up right. Recuperate, whatever. The flicker, the bluish light. Oh, hello. What about light? Does it attract them? I cannot tell. I think I should be safe. Okay, I think that should be it. Yeah, it should be it. Okay. Cloth smelt of dessert and damp musk, the pieces lay scrambled on top, too many of them, he thought, or perhaps too few. Ow! That's a lot. It became impossible to avoid commotion the streets begged for his attention as he opened the shutters the french soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back their voices were silenced in the haze of gun smoke well here i am in the lab Hey, chest. Come on. Got it. Alright. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on my on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. And I got them. Hopefully, all of them. And something is not a happy camper. And then crashed again. Hey! Ow. My eyes. Mm. Oh, uh, there should be more coop right. Let me see. Let me see. And one part aqua force. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Okay, let's try to make some acid.
Let's make some science. All right, let's see if this works. That. And that. And... It worked! Sweet. All right, let's go. Hopefully we won't get eaten. What the hell happened here? I'm sure I can just jump up. I don't think I even need a wooden plank. Nah, let's make life easy. There we go. He sat down by the Caspe wall, gasping for air. Sweat poured from his forehead and onto the sand veiled ground. And there's so much ick here. Oh, well, now we can at least go further down. Get the acid. We're down here. Progress, baby. Into the refinery. After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a cabin on SS. Ratio headed for London. I think that's what it said. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Just the part where that monster is revealed to us now. Yep. I think it will be fine. Hey. Hopefully he's an attracted noise. Because if he is, I'm fucked. Can't do anything. Twenty second of June, eighteen thirty-nine. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? I don't think, I think, I don't think he's here. Yeah, I might have just skedaddled out. I don't think he can fit in there anyways. A few drops is better than nothing. He 
You may be able to scour for some items around. What the fuck's my vision? Hang on. Okay, hopefully that fixes it because it was just bad. Did not look nice at all. Have chest? No. Okay. What is the point of that hole anyways? Okay, let's get the note. 25th of June, 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. It's like, what the fuck? My knees! Come on, Daniel. Walk. Ow. That's an arm. All right, let's put our lives in mortal danger. Come on. Perfect. Is it up? Okay, cool. I don't know about this. At least he's not here. Into the cellar archives. He crashed to the surface. The dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. Oh. Oh, I'm water now. That's fun. What the fuck? I believe there's something in the water with me. Go, go. Okay, at least it's kind of slow. Oh, unless you're in the water, I guess. Then it kind of speeds up. It craves flesh. It craves so Oh my god, I can hear it. Oh, hey, hey. Woo. Okay, Parkour. There is another one. Here, fetch.
Check over there. Come on. He's all over there. Okay. Go, 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 go. Made it. No damage. Oh my god. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh god, he's speeding up. I should be safe, right? Yeah. It's only a fishy. You can't even... Oh. I mean, we might want to skedaddle. Is it... Please don't tell me there's a key here. There it is. Oh, gee, ah! Got punched in the face. Just run. Something large brushed against his leg, and he felt himself being dragged along the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help! He cried, as the ocean swallowed him again. Well, that part wasn't fun. Let's put it down, I guess. Okay, it's back. It's back. It's back and it's mad. Oh, okay, cool. Look right behind me. Can't tell if that's my splashing or it's splashing. Frankly, I'd rather not know the difference. He felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean, the lacquered hull of SS Horatia. Glittered in the soothing warm light of a setting sun, he turned his head to the calm ocean, reaching towards the coast of Portugal and thought, Is this another dream? Hey! Okay, I guess that's the way I'm supposed to go. I guess I just have no reflection. Sweet. Alright. Well, I think I have enough footage to end this part off on. Until next time.